Welcome to Thumbnail Hacks, the channel for YouTubers all about thumbnails and making them. Stay tuned, we're going to be covering the features, benefits, as well as limitations using TubeBuddy Thumbnail Generator as well as layer control to get your best thumbnail. It's a little bit intimidating at first, but you can get a fairly nice video thumbnail from TubeBuddy. Next, we're getting into the ins and outs of TubeBuddy Thumbnail Generator. If you want to skip to where we control layers and actually make an improvement on this thumbnail, check out the timestamps below. Feel free to jump ahead. The TubeBuddy thumbnails are 1280 by 720. They're matching YouTube's thumbnails, which makes sense because even though you upload in 1920 by 1080, it gets dropped down to 1280 by 720. Well, on to the nuts and bolts of TubeBuddy Thumbnail Generator. Rather than bring you through and show you each one of the controls and demonstrate, I'm going to go through them very quickly right now so that we turn it into just a 60 second tutorial. Layer control, all this is is this little thing here with the six dots. All that is is for moving around the, um, get, basically to get these guys out of the way. Um, you can click on that and then move things out of the way and move the box like it says right here. Bring to the front. That means if you're on a layer and you want to bring it to the front and that is the layer that you're on, that'll bring it all the way to the front or you can send it all the way to the back. Lock a layer. When you lock a layer, it is no longer affected. Even if it says delete all layers, your locked layer does not get deleted. Also, the, uh, the locked layer, if you have a layer on top of it and you hit send it back, that block that locked layer think of it as being a blocked layer because it will not uh, block black drop shadow if you notice on the push-ups i'm using a black drop shadow there so that's what the black drop shadow is and the white drop shadow is exactly what it says it's white behind there and it's not it's it is a true drop shadow. You can't control the angle of which it falls from the letters, but I guess uh, TubeBuddy does its best guess at doing that. Opacity is exactly what it sounds like. If you're on a layer and you want to make it more opaque, you can get opa uh, opacity. Brightness, you can't, you don't always get brightness and contrast. I think uh, the, what I was running into when I was doing a uh, practice run was I had not finished the layer. For instance, if you hit text and you put text here, if you don't add the layer in, it's not going to let you control the brightness and contrast yet. Then you have to click on it again probably to get back to brightness and contrast. Have not tested that. Brightness, contrast, it works. And then contrast, that actually surprisingly worked really well. Uh, I was got this and this is just me goofing around and now we are uh, oh yeah I gotta show you the rest of it text that's what just what it sounds like image you get to upload one image with the free version and I might as well get into the differences here we have pro star legend I am currently a pro they also have a free version which has limited thumbnail generation uh, capability. And the pro version is ticked off, but there were some limitations that I did find in the fact that I could load up five images and four, uh, I don't know how many photos yet. I haven't tested the limit, but once you upload five full-size images, you are limited to 2.5 megabytes per image. And I'll show you that when we get into the um, layers. Uh, with bulk processing, neither the free nor the pro have bulk processing of overlays, thumbnail overlays. Now, let's see, have I covered everything? Not yet. Shapes, we can add shapes, emoji, frame, template. Templates are, you can save some templates. I think I have a limitation of like five or so. 
in the pro version. I don't think, uh, I think that in the free version, you're not able to save templates. Back is just what it sounds like. You can go back one, delete all layers. It, like I said, it deletes all the layers except for whatever layers are locked. Lock background, that's one thing I'll show you in the layering portion of this video. Show grid is for when you, it, it's a grid layer. I don't know, it, I haven't try, experimented and left it on, but I, every time I've seen anybody demonstrate TubeBuddy, they've always turned it off after they're done using it. And save layers as template is exactly what it sounds like. It saves everything that you've done as a template and probably leaves your background out. There we go. That is TubeBuddy nuts and bolts. Now time to get on with the next section. Done. Sorry to make you wait so long. Now we're getting into control layers of TubeBuddy Thumbnail Generator. Here's um, one that I really wanted to get these guys under. And when you are doing a TubeBuddy thumbnail, think of it like a layer cake. Your background is the bottom layer and you work your way out towards the front. Hacks, this needs to be in the very top layer. The same thing was true with my push-ups video. I would have liked to have had these underneath. We're looking for getting something that looks like this. Go into my YouTube studio content. This is the last one that we did. Now let's make another one. We go to thumbnail generator. We can take still frame from the video. We can take a solid color or image or existing thumbnail. I've already or uploaded the image to TubeBuddy. There is a limit of five full size images. This is what I was talking about. I can only do five in the pro version. I think you might get one available to you in the free version. Now we have our mountain in there. We can't do anything to it yet because we haven't gone in. Notice how it's locked. I can't move it around. What if I wanted to make the mountain bigger or tilt it a little bit? We unlock it and we can make it smaller first so you can see what I'm talking about. These are the control handles of your layer. This one will allow you to tilt it and these will allow you to change the size. Maybe we want to stretch out the mountain. Maybe we want to just make it bigger. Maybe we just want to delete it and start over. We go back, just like I said, and we continue. Let's make the mountain a little bit bigger though. We have it unlocked already, so all we have to do is come up here. You notice how I have the two arrows showing and make it bigger. It's nice that this thing's still here, which is kind of cool, because now we could use this as a template text. Let's put the grid on so we can see what the grid looks like just out of curiosity. Control layers. I did the control and then the layers next and I'll show you why. Extra large, we add the layer. Notice how far apart they are, not what we want. And plus we want yellow. So we go back to this, take out the layers part, change the color to yellow. There's control. And I think I stretched it out a little bit more, but let's leave it just like that. We're gonna do three layers with the top layer over the frame. So two layers of control. Text again, control, XL, got our color already. In this one, I want to add the drop shadow. This is the black drop shadow. That's two of those, and then layers. We're gonna do layers. Layers, we're gonna put all three in. Text. Drop it down. And don't do a drop shadow on the first one because I just want the drop shadow to go onto the next letter, not onto the mountain. Text, add layer. 
get on that. Oh, it's up here. That's why I didn't see it. <laughs> I've done that so many times. Drop shadow. One more layers. Text. And give it the outline. Add layer. So if you want to get a darker outline, add three layers and just make them smaller each time a little bit so that you get a black all the way through. We need one image. These are my images. This one is the image that I want to use and that'll go down here. Frame, we're going to use a simple frame. Let's lock the background. The frame I wanted over hacks. For some reason it went underneath hack. Hide the grid. Since we're on frames, we can pull it to the front and we can do the same thing with frames as we did with the other. When it's outside of the actual picture, it's a little tough because you don't get access to the controls without dragging it in and then playing with it a little bit. That looks good. We got hacks there. Lock the frame. Actually, let's unlock the frame. This is what I was talking about with frames. They're just a... We're moving the, this one out of the way. Turn that one up. Turn that one up. Bring it up a little bit. And we're going to do the same thing with these guys. drop shadow and now we twist her around and have it go over everything. Now you know a little bit more about the TubeBuddy thumbnail generator and how to control layers within it. Thank you for watching Thumbnail Hacks. Have a great day. Have a great week. And if you have an outro idea for Thumbnail Hacks, please leave it below. Or any questions, please leave them below. I love you all. Have a great day. Bye-bye.